What's up YouTube and welcome back to part 2 of the QTEC Flea Market PC. In the previous episode we got as far as the password prompt for Windows and I promised in this video I will show you how I'm going to reset it. Let's check it out. So I'm going to do this using Winternals ERD Commander 2005. Winternals was purchased by Microsoft at some point after 2005 and rebranded this as the DART Diagnostics and something recovery tool yada 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 basically this is a homebrew Windows XP with various tools pre-baked in to allow you to uninstall hotfixes from Windows installations and do password resets which is the primary reason why I'm booting it up but it also came with Firefox bundled so if you could get it online you could use it to download say uh, a virus removal tool that will clean the virus off the hard drive without booting into Windows itself. Very very useful toolkit. I recommend you try and find a copy and stick it in your own PC repair kit. So I'm going to wait for this to load up here and then we'll get into the crux of it. So when it finishes booting up you get offered to attach the tool to an existing Windows installation or to just boot it up as is and not have access to the Windows installation but doing that will limit some of the functionality of this software so I'm going to connect it to the XP professional install which I want to reset the password in and it will take a few moments or so and then you'll get a familiar looking customized start menu. I must add that the Microsoft Dart toolkit version of this I think has been deprecated because it's Windows XP based and it was only ever offered to volume license subscribers. This is a questionably legal version of the software but uh, let's go from uh, here and take a look at what it can do. So if you open up the My Computer link that is off camera, you can access all the drives that are in the PC. I forgot to mention that the CD writer, this one, is faulty. The tray won't open, but there's no disk inside. And going on the Start menu, you can see some of the tools that are built in. So you've got a Firefox browser. Uh, this is a, like a, a wizard to try and fix common issues like uninstalling hotfixes and whatnot. Then you have a full list of system things to do like hotfix, uninstall. You can use the system restore and use this to trigger a, a rollback up to a recent restore point such as after installing a hotfix that has broken something or a viral installation you want to wind it back. You can also have a look at any of the crash dump files when you get the blue screen of death. You can also try and restore deleted files, um, wipe entire hard disks and look at states between two restore points I think and also run the system file repair command line against an existing Windows installation as if you'd done it through safe mode or whatever. There's some networking tools to get access to network shares and whatnot and under administrative tools here you can you go into the registry of the attached Windows environment, look at its event logs, look at its disk management such as to partition or install a new hard drive, you've got access there to devices and services and look at the auto runs. But we're interested in the locksmith tool and it's just a wizard based interface and because I've attached it to this account and I know that Lisa was the last user and it looks like there's another user called Richard I'm going to just specify the, a password here of 12345 and one oops and 12345 and we'll go next and it's finished so all we need to do now is reboot and when I get back to the normal Windows XP installation logon I can just type 12345 for the password and it should let me in so that's enough of the Win Internals tool. Let's log off and restart the computer. We'll take the disk out of the drive and see what happens. 
and we're back at the logon prompt so I'm going to stick in here one two three four five and with a bit of luck when it responds one two three four five and with a bit of luck we are now logging in so I'm going to have a little look through here make sure nothing private and confidential will be revealed and then we'll take a look and see what's installed I can see straight away that there is an ancient version of iTunes with the green music symbol and it looks like they were using Tiscali for their broadband and at one point perhaps BT they use a Samsung phone also maybe a Sony camera there's a document there and Nero Burning Rom probably came bundled with the built-in DVD uh, sorry CD writer it's the original OEM installation of the QTEC Windows XP and there you can see the specifications again it's the Celeron 1.7 with 256 megabytes of RAM some of that is shared it's Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 2 but you've already seen that in Device Manager it's showing that the video controller has got no driver that leads me to think that perhaps they had an aftermarket video card installed and that's been removed I was struggling to, well I am struggling, it won't get out of 800 by 600 and that probably explains why it's just a pretty basic cheap OEM system, nothing to scream home about um, yeah really, there's nothing the, the documents on the system were wedding photos, honeymoon photos, holiday photos, pictures of the kids, um, application forms for jobs, and so I'm not going to go through and show all that, but we can have a look at, uh, in fact actually there's nothing really else to look at, I've had a, a snoop around and nothing's there, I do feel bad that all these photos are potentially missing, it does look like that they've got an email account set up on here so I might try emailing them and just saying hey look I've fixed your PC from a flea market do you want any of these pictures and maybe offer to send them over on a DVD or uh, share them somewhere that they can grab them like OneDrive or something but all in all it's a pretty basic machine I'm not going to do much with it it's probably going to get wiped and then recycled but yeah that's pretty much it so uh, thanks for watching I guess please uh, like and share this video subscribe if you haven't done so click the little notification bell to be informed when I upload something new and follow me on Twitter at LBX computers okay thanks again and see you next time